An aircraft with 189 people on board is believed to have sunk after crashing into the sea off Indonesia's island of Java on Monday, shortly after takeoff from the capital on its way to the country's tin mining hub, officials said. A spokesman for Indonesia's search and rescue agency said the Lion Air flight, JT-610, lost contact 13 minutes after takeoff adding that a tugboat leaving the capital's port had seen the craft falling. It has been confirmed that it has crashed, the spokesman, Yuzia Flatif, said by text message, when asked about the fate of the plane, which air tracking service flight radar 24 identified as a Boeing 737 MAX 8. Debris thought to be from the plane, including aircraft seats, was found near an offshore refining facility in the Java Sea an official of state energy firm Pitamana said. Wreckage had been found near where the plane lost contact with air traffic officials on the ground, said Mamid Sorghi, the head of the search and rescue agency. We don't know yet whether there are any survivors, Sorghi told a news conference, adding that no distress signal had been received from the aircraft's emergency locator transmitter. We hope, we pray, but we cannot confirm. An official of Indonesia's Safety Transport Committee said he could not confirm the cause of the crash, which would have to wait until the recovery of the plane's black boxes, as the cockpit voice recorder and data flight recorder are known. We will collect all data from the control tower, said So Urgento Jajono. The plane is so modern, it transmits data from the plane and that we will review too. But the most important is the black box. Australia had not received signals from the plane's emergency locator either, it told Indonesia in a reply to a query, agency chief Sorghi said. The effort to locate the wreckage and retrieve the black boxes will represent the second major deep sea recovery challenge for Indonesian investigators after an AirAsia Airbus jet crashed into the Java Sea in December 2015. Under international rules, the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board will automatically assist with the inquiry into Monday's crash, backed up by technical advisors from Boeing and U.S. French engine maker CFM International, co-owned by General Electric and Safran. Boeing is aware of the airplane accident reports and is closely monitoring the situation, a company spokesman told Reuters. The flight took off from Jakarta around 6.20 am and was due to have landed in the capital of the Bangka Bilatung tin mining region at 7.20 am, the flight radar 24 website showed.